Sonali and Karan are co-workers. Karan makes lewd comments about Sonali's looks and body when they are alone. Karan continued the behavior even after she asked him to stop. Despite this, Sonali never reported this because there was no evidence or witness to prove her allegation. She felt that her complaints will not be taken seriously and that Karan will be acquitted. One day, when Sonali and Karan were alone in the workplace, Karan made physical advances towards Sonali. During this incident, another employee Sunu walks in and witnesses the incident as there is a witness to the incident. Sonali files a complaint with the internal committee against Karan and submits the details of Sunil as the witness. She also mentions in the complaint that she has been subjected to harassment over a period of time and the only reason for her not reporting was the lack of evidence and witness. When the internal committee tried to contact Sunil, they got to know that he has taken a long leave and is not in a position to participate in the inquiry. Summoning Sunil to testify in the inquiry was also not possible as he did not have access to internet connectivity. This can result in a delay in the completion of the inquiry. In addition, Karan, the respondent, has applied for a vacant manager position. The decisions taken by the IC after the inquiry will have an impact on his promotion. Hence, they cannot afford to delay the inquiry. Should IC go ahead with the inquiry without listening to Sunil? Should IC wait for the only witness to be back to work to complete the inquiry? Can Karan be promoted regardless of the decisions of the IC?